So if you've ever wondered how much uh, power Stream Decks actually draw, uh, I've got myself a bench power supply. It's got the voltage and also the current draw. And I've hooked that up via this little USB breakout board. So I've uh, snipped this red, which is the, the five volt line. So grounds are tied together and my data lines go through. And then I'll have that plugged into this, this laptop over here. Running companion uh, 2.4.1 because it's the installer I had. I've just set up two pages, one black, one white. Just to show that as I flick through, maybe I'll catch this in. As I flick through, uh, the power draw sort of stays roughly the same. However, if I turn this off, so this will be killing the stream deck. Uh, I've set a current limit on this. So if I turn it on, you can see here, as it wakes up, it goes up. Now, there's also a possibility, if I disconnect it from the laptop, and turn it off, and turn it back on again, this number sometimes jumps up higher. So I've just plugged it back into the USB. When Stream Deck or oh, Companion finds the Stream Deck, like it has now, it jumps back up again. So there you go, that's one of these 15 key Stream Decks. And then for a Stream Deck XL, I turn it on. Let's turn it on. It actually goes quite low and then settles in at this number for a little bit. And then once companion finds it, this number will jump up again. So just give companion a helping hand by rescanning the USB. And there you go, it's found it and it's jumped up. So this number here is with uh, my page 2 which is um, mostly dark keys and I've set all of these to be white and it jumps up to 570-ish so dark keys, light keys, dark keys, light keys if I try and flash this through with my finger as quickly as possible so if I was scrolling through pages or something like that you see it doesn't really affect the power draw too much which is, um, which is good that's what you want to see really So back on all keys set to white, about 570 milliamps at 5 volts. So obviously if you take the 5 volts up a little bit, if I do that on this, if I take the 5 volts to say 5.1 and do the same, it doesn't seem to affect the current too much. Uh, I don't really want to go above 5.1 to be perfectly honest. I don't want to block my Stream Deck. I don't know what it's suitable for. So yeah, I just thought that was interesting. So Stream Deck XL uses a little bit more power than Stream Deck uh, 15 key. But there is some numbers for people to use. So back with the Stream Deck XL, this time looking at data. So I'm in Linux um, because it's an easier way of uh, seeing the information I want to get hold of. Running Companion 2.2.0, so not a current version. And here I have USB top running, showing uh, all the devices on my USB. So device number six here is the one of interest to us. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, there's no actual information other than the up down keys, default configuration. So what I'm just going to do is show you how much data comes uh, from the device to, sorry, so from the from the device is here, and then to the device is here. So this is what we're sending. This is what we're receiving. So if I quickly press a button that's got nothing on it, no action attached, you can see that there is data being passed. And if I start scrolling some pages, you can see that data is being passed. 
So what I'm going to quickly do is set up a test again to uh, quickly toggle all the pages and then we'll see how much data, what sort of maximums we can get through this. So I have my two pages again and just toggling in between them. So if we go in to USB top again, uh, we want device ID 6. If I try and toggle that as quickly as I can, if I try and get that in as well, the yellow bar, you can see realistically, I can't get that. Oh, it's frozen. That's interesting. So back on Stream Deck XL, and I've got a uh, page full of some content, page full of white keys. So you can see when I press it in the bottom corner, and these are the numbers I am getting. So if I try and page through this as quickly as possible, you can see that we don't really get a huge amount of data. So I suggest at most 600 kilobytes a second is the most you could use it if you're using um, responses from your fingers and not programming it to do some other stuff. And here is my Stream Deck uh, 15 key original. So again, I've set a very similar set of buttons up. And then in here, we're now looking at device ID number seven. So this device actually has more data than the XL being sent to it, which is very interesting. This is an original first generation 15 key Stream Deck though. So I hope you found that interesting, um, but that is how much power and data the Stream Decks actually use. Thanks for watching.